Claremont Living, today we're gonna to talk about the marketplace here. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it great to be a buyer? And ultimately, would you wanna live here? And if you live here now, we're gonna talk about the great changes that are occurring all across this beautiful marketplace that those who want to escape the hustle and bustle of Orlando like to flee to out here in the West. Claremont is vastly changing over the past 20 years. I've broken it down in chapters below so you can skip right to the points you wanna see. But speaking of down below, go down to the right, smash the thumbs up button so more people can see this great update. Let's get into the news. My, 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 Claremont is changing. And I remember long before you had multiple choices of high-end coffee to purchase other than Starbucks, before you had a Costco or even one of the few Tesla dealerships across Central Florida located right here, that back then one might only have multiple choice when it came to fried chicken. But things are changing. And ultimately, if you've been a local here for a long time, you know that this particular marketplace is a long way from where it used to be when it was highly identified for its dense amount of orange groves. And ultimately, Claremont was really well known as an agricultural center that drive millions and millions a year of its income from producing oranges for the marketplace. And like many other places in Central Florida in the 1980s, there was a triple snap cold freeze. I think of places like Chase Road along where Isleworth is now located, same story. You had a lot of the orange groves and a lot of the trees and agricultural completely taken out forever and what came behind it became a 20 to 40 year run of a high amount of residential investment. And ultimately, Claremont is a much less dense area. The population here is much less dense than an area you might experience such as in downtown Orlando. Per acre, there's just a lot less folks. And ultimately, there is less traffic most of the day. But for the state of Florida being such a flat state, you don't have to drive very far to notice that Claremont has beautiful hills. You can go down Colonial Drive or even Hooks Road and see the beautiful lakes off in the distance. And this is a common sight at multiple areas throughout this beautiful town. At the start of the century, Claremont was still kind of a sleepy town, but population here surged 208% from the year 2000 to the year 2010. Now, luckily, as like most areas of the country from 2010 to present, a lot of new construction was really slowed down by the housing crisis that took place from 2008 to 2012. A lot of builders just stopped construction. So a lot of the population throughout Claremont itself, it's only grown by another 30% over the past decade since that 200% boom. So you had a small number grow to a larger number by double, and now you have approximately 70,000 people in this particular area, and it is a large area of town. But as I mentioned, the top story in Claremont is what attracts people is its breathtaking landscape. If you only paid a short visit to the area, you might notice a higher retiree repopulation, and that's because we have a variety of beautiful 55 plus active adult communities that are really aimed at the retirement crowd. Now, besides the beautiful serenity of less crowded areas and beautiful topography of the layout, Claremont also has newer hospitals and newer health research facilities opened in the area to serve the population. And the fact that retirees here don't have to constantly drive to downtown Orlando for all of these higher end services, that combined with these amazing amenity rich community has really spoken to the retirement communities and attracted them here to this area. But if you only spend a short time here, you might be surprised to find out that the median age in Claremont is actually 43, which is really on par with the Orlando market at large, which is one of the younger populaces across Orlando. So there is a lot for the younger crowd. That's because Claremont's ideal location not only keeps you close enough to go downtown and watch a magic game or have dinner downtown, and enjoy the nightlife, or jump to a theme park and spend the evening with Mickey, but you also have unrivaled outdoor beauty and offers here around town. You can explore a vast network of trails that wind through the lush forests and scenic wetlands and serene lake shores. The West Orange Bike Trail, for instance, is a 22 mile paved trail that traverses from Claremont all the way to Winter Garden and up to Apopka. Not to mention our newest addition to the city is Victory Point Park. The waterfront park offers an array of adventures from zip lining and kayaking to paddle boarding and rock climbing. Whether you're a thrill seeker 
or nature lover, Victory Point Park offers something for all ages. Now for our focus on the fun segment for this video, I wanna tell you about Lake Hiawatha Park, which I've been spending a lot of time at. This beautiful park, it's massive. It's set right on the shores of Lake Mineola. You have a beautiful playground area for the kids to enjoy, a fenced in dog park where we could take our poodles and run around. But additional to all that, there's a network of trails along this beautiful park that offers scenery of nature and water with an 18 hole disc golf course interwoven under the trees. It's beautiful. Even in the heat of the day when the sun's up, there is so much shade and canopy. And best of all, you can go anytime there's daylight and there is no cost for entry or parking. And another thing the locals tend to do if they want to get a little touristy is they might go down Highway 27 to the Showcase of Citrus. Granted, this is a tourist trap, but it is good local fun. It's a local business. Here you can embark on guided tours of the sprawling citrus groves in a monster truck school bus. <laughs> Nothing says Florida like a monster truck school bus, right? Enter jokes in the comments. As I mentioned earlier, there are multiple 55 plus active adult communities, which are mostly offered as resale homes. Now, there is a lot of upside in not having to hope that the home was built right. You actually have someone who tested the property out, and believe me, that's always a good thing. In most cases, you end up with a property that's been really well taken care of. But one other area that a lot of folks really like Claremont is they can actually look for land and develop their own custom home. This leads you the opportunity to build exactly what you want. This also leads another opportunity which you really cannot find on any other new construction opportunity, which is to avoid homeowners associations. And additionally in Lake County, where Claremont falls under, they have different types of family density exemptions that allow you the ease of adding family members on the same parcel. It's not uncommon for people to come to this area, buy a five, 10, 15 acre parcel and put up a family house and then across the way on the same parcel, mom and dad builds a house. And when the kids get older and married off, they might even come back themselves and build another home on the same parcel. And as we look at these types of opportunities, additional to that, there's a lot of water and conservation area throughout Claremont. So folks that wanna live in or against the woods, people that wanna live on water and have waterfront access with a dock, those things are opportunities here in this city. And a lot of people think this is a really lofty approach to actually trying to build your own house because everybody thinks I got to buy from Pulte or Mattamy or David Weekly Homes. And if I don't get into those normal house type purchases, then I'm not going to be able to make it happen, but it's easier than you think. But when we think about this type of property build out in use, I want to point to a specific area, which I think has a very big opportunity for growth. And that's the area around Lake Louisa from Highway 27 to Highway 33. This particular area, it is not so priced out when it comes to cost of land, and it's the next open area that is in the path of growth as you consider all this growth and price appreciation that came from Windermere, then to Winter Garden, and now people who can't afford or don't wanna spend a hundred or $200,000 an acre to live around the Winter Garden area, those people are going to move west. And the benefit here, and what I think hasn't yet been priced into the land in this area, you can get beautiful land, but you also have the Lake Orange Expressway plan, which will tie Claremont to Winter Garden. That will make this four mile stretch of currently open pasture land a much faster route to travail, which means people are gonna get back to work or they can get a feeder road to get from this far west town, which right now might take 45 or 50 minutes and cut that time down and that commute in half in order to get towards like Horizon West or to get back towards Disney. All of this leads me to believe there's gonna be plenty of upside as the growth continues to expand as it has from the heart of downtown Orlando further out and it finds itself even further west than it has before. Now our exciting new addition is Olympus, allowing residents to live, work, and play off of Highway 27. This is a massive 240 acre campus that will offer sports facilities and medical facilities, not only bringing sports and other high paying jobs, but all will be just a short walk from residential subdivisions that are planned to be built on site. For the most part on the Olympus site, David Weekly Homes is the main builder picked so far. And that really is a bungalow type plan, very tight, high density real estate construction. But throughout the area, you can live a block, two, three blocks away. There's multiple other builders to choose from that are building in the Claremont area, such as Pulte Homes, Mattamy, and Dreamfinders. And just next door, 
Here we've been talking about Olympus. You have a wellness ridge just coming out of the ground. This community offers 26 different home designs and allows you to live only 23 minutes from Disney World. Now for those non-retirees, you are looking to buy a home, you're concerned with schools. Now I would first point you to a resource like greatschools.org. And I will tell you this, across all of Orlando and Central Florida, specifically high schools, very, very tough to find high rated schools. And that's really no different across almost every area of Orlando. They're just not massively high rated for whatever reason. I will tell you, looking at the high schools here in Claremont, my opinion, it's really just average. But as you look at elementary and middle schools, there's a lot of opportunity for very high rated schools. And this isn't uncommon, as I mentioned, it's high schools that are tough. But I will say Claremont has a variety of private schools and Christian schools that are available to you. You also could use Florida Virtual as well so that you can do homeschool or maybe even a homeschool hybrid setup where they're in some type of class situation part of the time. And regarding education, Florida's recently added a voucher system where you can gain almost $8,000 regardless of your income category to look into school choice. I will put links to all of this in the description below so you can have what you need when you're looking to buy here.